Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make a rig like this one in just a few minutes in Blender. And as always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by downloading an example model. So uh, go to the link in the description and uh, download it. And then you need to unzip the uh, .rar file. So I'm just going to extract it. You can use 7-zip, uh, for example, to extract the uh, files. And then let's go into Blender. And then press X to delete the default cube. Then go to File, then Import, and then Import .obj, and then select the uh, extracted folder. And then select the male object. Okay, so now we have a uh, basic mesh. So uh, let's uh, set up the armature. So press number one for a front view. And then let's uh, move the uh, 3D cursor and set it around here. And then press shift A and add the armature. And uh, then we need to go into edit mode and then select the top of the bone. And uh, let's uh, set the uh, armature in front in the viewport, which is the same as the extra option in the previous versions. And then press G and set to grab the top of the bone on the set axis. We'll set it around here, and then press E, then set to extrude, and create another bone. And then press number 3 for side view, and then press tab, then G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then we can go back to edit mode to add more bones. And then press E, then set to extrude on the Z axis. And this will be the uh, neck of the uh, model. And then E, then set once again to add a bone to the head. Okay. And then press G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then we can go back to uh, edit mode and press G, then Y to uh, grab this link a little bit forward on the Y axis. And then press number one for front view. And you're still in edit mode. And then let's move the 3D cursor here. And then press Shift A to add a bone. And then select the top of the bone and press G to grab. And uh, then let's grab it on the Y axis. So select the top as well. And then press G and Y to grab it on the Y axis and then select the bottom of the bone and then press E to extrude and then let's make one bone for the foot as well so uh, let's go to the uh, side view number 3 and then E to extrude once again okay and then we can add the bones for the arms and the hands so let's go to the top, move the uh, 3D cursor, and we'll set the bone around here. And then press Shift A, and let's go back to the normal selection, and then press G to grab the top of the bone. And I'm going to move it a little bit backwards on the Y axis. And then we need to extrude, so press E to extrude. And then let's add one more bone for the hand as well, so that we can uh, move the hands. I'm not going to add any bones for the fingers and so on, because this is just a very basic beginner tutorial. But it's possible to rig the uh, fingers as well. Okay. 
and now we need to duplicate the uh, bones for the arms and the legs so let's just save before we continue in case something crashes you can call the file whatever you want and then i'll go back to the viewport and then press c to circle select and then press shift d to duplicate then s x then minus one to flip it and then press g then x to grab it on the x-axis and then we need to duplicate the uh, leg as uh, well or the uh, leg bones so uh, press number one and then alt a to deselect everything then c to circle select and then once again press shift d to duplicate then s x then minus one to flip it and then press g then x to grab it on the x axis and then i'm going to adjust the uh, feet slightly so uh, let's select the uh, tip and then press g then x to grab it on the x axis and then i'll do the same for the uh, other foot as well and then we need to connect the bones so uh, select these two and then the uh, one above and then press ctrl p and keep offset and then do the same for the arms and then select the bone in the middle and then press ctrl p to set the parent to that bone keep offset and now we can go back to object mode and then next we need to set the uh, mesh parent to the armature so select the mesh and then hold in shift and select the armature and then press ctrl p to set the mesh parent to the armature with automatic weights and since we add automatic weights and we have so many verses for the mesh it's going to take a few minutes to uh, set the uh, mesh parent to the uh, armature with automatic weights but uh, once it's done we can uh, save click on the plus sign and uh, then let's uh, select the armature and go into post mode and then we can set it in the front and when you select the bone and press R then set for example you can see that we rotate the mesh on the set axis you can also move and animate the rest of the bones as well and uh, that's it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and subscribe